Hello dear students, our today's topic is quality. It's written by John Goldsworthy. It's a short story and we shall be looking at it. In today's topic, we shall be discussing its summary and themes and its title. The story begins with the description of a down-to-earth boot shop belonging to the Gessler brothers who were not merely traders but craftsmen skilled in the art of fine boot making. Once the narrator went into the shop to order a pair of Russian leather boots and was presented with a fine piece of golden brown leather which would be used to make his boot fitted, for, fitted to perfection. This one time the narrator complained of his boots having creaked. The complaint was met with silence after which Mr. Gessler asked the narrator to send back the shoes for fixing adding that he would not be uh, he would not be charged for the boots if they were beyond repair during another one of his visits to the gessler shop the narrator absent-mindedly wore boots that he had brought from a large firm mr gessler recognized at once that the boots worn by the narrator were not the fruit of his craftsmanship pointing out the flaws in its making it is at this juncture that Mr. Gessler revealed to the narrator how difficult it is for him and his brother to sustain their small business of bespoke and handmade artisan boot during the ta during times when mass production and relentless advertising were tugged away all clients. The next time the narrator visits the store was after two years to find that the store size had been reduced to half in order to curb expenses and during the next visit he found that the elder Gessler brother was dead not being able to bear the loss the business was incurring the narrator ordered several pairs that time and the quality of the finished boots were better than ever the next time the narrator paid to the shop was after a year and this time mr uh, Gessler looked frail and old the ta this time around the order took longer time to come but the quality was even better a week later the narrator wished to pay mr gessler a visit to tell him how wonderful the boots were however upon reaching the store he found that the shop had been occupied by another company and that mr gessler was dead having died of slow starvation the owner of the new store reveals that during his last days Mr. Gessler spent all his time laboriously making boots, hardly eating and spending all the money on rent and leather. This news saddens the narrator deeply and leaves the store with tears in his eyes. Dear students, this completes the summary of the short story and now we shall be looking at the theme of the story. The overreaching theme of the quality by of quality by John Goldsworthy is commitment to quality. One of the massive pitfalls of mass production was downgrade in quality. Big companies produced products in bulk with no regard to the unique requirements of each client. And in order to compensate for this loss of quality and to win clients, they practiced aggressive marketing and advertising to win in the capitalist game of consumerism. Mr. Gessler stood out in, the wor in this world controlled by consumerism by staying true to his art and the sheer dedication to his craftsmanship. He refused to let anybody um, other than his brother make boots for his company and each boot that left his store was unmatched in quality for it was the product of hard manual labor and as opposed to blind ma machinization. This commitment to quality caused Mr. Gessler huge losses, but he bore them with dignity because producing high-quality boots were the biggest priority of his life as an artist. He refused to stoop to, stoop to partake in the mad advertising game, for he believed that a product's quality was the prime concern of any trade in the end. We see that this commitment 
to quality and ultimately drains the life out of an old Mr. Gessler who could not make ends meet. However, in the reader's heart, he is the real hero for he stood the he stood to the true principles. And now we shall be looking at the title. Title of the story Quality by John Goldsworthy has been aptly titled. For the whole story revolves around the idea that quality should trump everything else in, in an ideal world. In the story we have an old fashioned boat maker, Mr. Gessler, who is so skilled to skilled a craftsman that his boats could be viewed as a work of art. The only thing he cared about was the high quality of his boats and he and he dedicated his entire life to deliver the same. No artist true to his salt would be compatible with aggressive marketing of their work. The same was the cause with Mr. Gessler who prioritized providing A-grade quality boats above everything else. His dedication to quality remained resolute even when the going got tough and the big companies started stealing his clients through lucrative advertising and fast production. However, this unflinching commitment to quality came to, co to a cost and gradually the downfall of Mr. Gessler began when his client started reducing in manner and he was left with no means of sustenance. But even in his downfall, there was a grace for he went on to be remembered as one of the finest bookmakers of his time. He lived to promote quality and lost his life pursuing quality and hence it makes perfect sense that this short story about an artist bootmaker artisan bootmaker has been titled quality